Patterson, six foot tall, 172 pounds. The Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis, one of the most historically important fighters of all time. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd Patterson. He started his career as an Olympic gold medalist, and look at him now. He is the former heavyweight champion of the world. I'm so excited for this fight. There is no nonsense here. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, here we go, man. This is for the SNF Championship. Out of the red corner, Big Antonio the Monster versus Harvey. Champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years, introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Hiding out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic gold medalist and the two-time heavyweight champion of the world and truly one of the all-time greats, introducing Floyd Patterson. What a pleasure it is to be here in All this right. environment. What a venue for Let's this show. Let's see how this one pans out. Be a good old-fashioned rivalry. Will when the mobster take the FNF championship That's away from Harvey tonight? One -on -one. Or will Harvey be the good champion luck. that he has been so far in the Undisputed Boxing League? He has been very dominant, reigning, taking his These two fighters promised goal us an offensive show. Let's see the if they champion. deliver. Let's see how this one goes. Firepower here. Nice uh, uppercut down to the body from Antonio. I like the hook up top as well. Both men step back for just a moment. I can see, uh, you know, um, I take that back. That was from the champion. You Antonio is stronger, on the left. He has Joe faster. Lewis. Harvey is on the right. He has Patterson. Counter punching from both these fighters. This is brought to you by TBC Promotions, BG Promotions, and let's play. play the counter fighter it relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. We have you have to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his first back. TV is block. coming your way and real soon. Great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. A real good back and forth between these two fighters. This is with that jab. Okay. You know, I like the way uh, Antonio is using uh, Joe Lewis. I love the heavyweight division. Um, Joe Lewis is my guy. Uh, I like to use him as a lot, of, as, as you all know. Uh, but right now, uh, I, I have to give a big respect to the mobster, Antonio. The way he's on the out, uh, the jab. You know, on the outskirts of things, utilizing the jab. I like the way he snuck in that, that straight up top there. But the champion uh, is very punch, aggressive. I'm not used to seeing that from Harvey. Usually very Harvey is round, the counter puncher. To go. Um, I don't, I'm not used to seeing him being on the front foot like he is in this round right here. But this is the end of the round. Things can change. Harvey is very versatile. He likes to mix things up. <laughs> what do we expect to see here in round two? Very tough round. That's All right, here we go. Here. This is round two. Big hook up top from the champion. He landed that left hook. He missed oh my jab. God! That was a awakening two punch counter shot from the champion. All right, but it did seem to phase Antonio the mobster. I like the way he stayed stayed poised. You know, uh, he kind of shook it off there. And he's back to the jab. I like the way he stuck his uh, straight up top. He's starting to work out on Harvey. This is the elite competition right here. To say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Okay, jab for jab. I, I, look, I see something new about the champion. He's been working on the gym. 
He's utilizing the jab, but he is going down to the body. I'm not really used to seeing that from the champion. You know, and you know, Wednesday night fights, Harvey was more of the counter puncher. He was on the back foot, utilizing the one-two straight, and then going down to the body. But here in this fight, he has the jab and then closing the real estate and capitalizing on the counter shots to the body. Yeah, so, you know, if I was Antonio, block that body, you know, close that defense. Ooh, big left hook up top from the champion. You know, he needs to be more sound with the defense. And he's circling to his left a little too much. He needs to bring it back, be a little elusive on the right side. I do believe... The, the champion is very vulnerable to, to the right the side. Wow. If, like two you know, and, Antonio the Mobster can maybe get the straight right hand in, but I do believe the, the uh, right uppercut and the right hook is available for him tonight. Keep his momentum going. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. And a counter left. That jam. The champion is turning up the volume, ladies and gentlemen. And this is but I like the way up. Antonio took that 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 jab and that one two and wasting the champion right there. Circle and capitalize on the counter. That's boxing. All right, <laughs> we got Chris Ringside. You know, he's for the champion. He's saying, "Let's go." He's telling the champion that was a good round last round. Right, champ. Green Patterson, Pete, Peekaboo defense to him. Oh, all right. It looks like the champion fans are in the stand. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Nice jab hook down to the body. You he's stronger, but he's not But, faster. you know, uh, Antonio the Mobster is starting to block those body shots. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, he's being very patient. Poise is the name of the game right now. Uh, if punch you allow Harvey uh, to lift, lift your here. hand rent free, he will absolutely do so. So you have to be careful and take it slow. Like, you know... You'd like to see more jabs. Earth, wind, and fire. Still you know, little Barry White, you know. To go. You got to slow it down and drink a glass of wine tonight. And take it, you know, mellow. Perfect counter land. That, but well, we're entering that's just a race, you know, you're going to need spectator, an right? Second that may not be the answer. On to the fourth we go. <laughs> Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Very interesting we'll fight so far. Here. Unofficially, this is one of it's those very situations. close. You've it's only a one-point difference be smart, uh, on the scorecard. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make you fight your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head plays again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice counter punch. Ooh, wait, that's mean. I felt that body shot. And that straight up top. He jumped on him. He was like a pounce. It looks you like the champion has got his range down. And now it's it all somehow. about time. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they cook up top, from the game nice line, straight. they're going to be shot. Antonio's Again, using a good imagine of footwork. I'm also going to say this. I am used to seeing Antonio the mobster being a little really more aggressive. The round. Yeah, I can, I can tell punch. that he worked on being very poised throughout his training camp. I wish I had the opportunity to pay a visit to his training camp. But, you know, uh, Both of these men showing it exceptional seems like, you know, chins, by the, the way. Um, management team of the champion wanted to just be a haul, you know, all the cameras, the cameras was on the champion, you know, which was very disappointing because 
I don't really consider Antonio the mobster being a huge underdog. You know, uh, his skill set. Not a lot set, of punch output. I would Thought say there might be more action here. the champion, but it's right there. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. All right, this is a 12-round championship bout for the FNF championship. This is undisputed at its finest. Time hey, for the fifth round. If you Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover now. They've got a If you think your skill set is high and elite, get on the back foot jab. That race on the jab. Be smart and pop and turn your head to the back. Join the undisputed boxing league. An ad that will accept your application and get your boxing profile built real soon. The Spider has tested their opponent's power right, we're back and at it. isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got level skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those caught nails over the eyebrow. The chin got to love you just got to try man. to caught them skimming. Go it's for speed. back and forth. Each fighter is selecting their shots, landing counters on each other. Uh, this uh, fight don't have a real high volume pace, but it has a good even flow. And he just missed with that left jab. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. He misses with that jab. They cook up top. Man, that was a good exchange from both men. It was a little tip from oh, Tap the here. Now they're in the phone booth, giving it to this each other. With that nice counter straight from Antonio and Lobster. They will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time. You hit me hard, I'm going to hit you hard. The like referee right. jumps from and saves you. This is a natural gift. Oh, the champion, they're like, hey, OK. <laughs> That's how you want to play it? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Another counter jab from the champion. Oh, and that's the bell, the end of the fifth round. All right. He's in big trouble about here. halfway he through this 12-round championship bout. I don't know how you guys are scoring it unofficially right now, but it's very hard to score. I'm not even going to try. Let's see what they do here. You know... I do, okay, here, here's the, the trainer tracks, right? He misses with that jab. With the combinations and the bombs that the champion is landing on Antonio the mobster right now, <coughs> I would tell him if he was my fighter, his gloves you're circling to your yeah. left too much. The champion is timing you. You need you to bring it back to the right team. more. Utilize the uppercut and your strength. Believe in your power, right? You really don't have to tell the champion too much. He's putting on a safe uh, to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant I mean, his skill set is immaculate at this point. Is. A stage of fight. A fight is so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? If you anything, you got to hold. They went out of steam. Just take your time, the time, baby. Landing in these exchanges. Is you think this boy is turtle wax? Ooh, big counter hand. hook up top from the champion. Mr. Harvey is putting on the show tonight. Uppercut down to the body. It looks blocked, but it may oh, have got in. Another three. body shot from the champion. Hook up top from the champion. Straight from the champion. Hook down to the body from the champion. The champion is definitely turning it up, ladies and gentlemen. Here come... Antonio the Monster, he's trying to establish the jab. Big left hook up top from the champion. Uppercut down to the body. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh my goodness gracious. The game plan does not seem to be working you know, here. What's he have to do the champion wow, just it's like two took different the edge leagues. of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you guys are seeing this fight right now, 
But that's my Here's opinion. Here's the belt round seven. Let's see how they bounce back here <laughs> Harvey in this went from a button down and a tie to lacing up his hands and putting on the gloves and showing his opponent these center black gloves and giving him some love. Harvey, the we FNF who the champion power of the Undisputed is, Boxing League, power is putting on a how would you handle that? tremendous power, performance for you guys tonight, the, ladies and gentlemen. The power might not to be say the, the Antonio, the mobster, is not. He is right there with the champion to protect. Who wants it more? A jab won't score. <laughs> All right. Right when you think the pace Chris will is slow down, it picks up. The champion is being very dominant. And here comes Antonio. He doubles up on the jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows that they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. you got to like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Nice upcut down to the body. Again. You know, the pace of this fight is tremendous. Up. You know, both guys are hanging in with each other. Um, both guys are landing some massive blows on each other. The defense oh, is tight. Jam. This is the unique stage in the Undisputed Boxing League. Very competitive today. round. And with 10 seconds left. If you would like to be a part of that stage, the description link is in the link up above. I said that all wrong. The link is in the description up above. Just hit that link. Well, he is glad to have heard that join us. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, <laughs> you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Get you sing. All right. It looks like, you know, Harvey is looking a little fatigued over in the corner. You know, <laughs> he hit his opponent with some big bombs that last round. And Antonio the Mobster is like, you didn't phase me, homie. And we enter the eighth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't right. fight fire with fire. Hold right, him up. Be good, smart good because he's going to try and put you on the pressure. We back he knows it. your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Nice jab. Jab again. Oh, you know, the champion almost landed that hook. It could have been good night our ring. That was good on the box. Early rounds jab of the fight, see two boxers beat each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy. Because Woo. all of a sudden you're going to be guessing something trying to get that shot. And that's going to catch you. Woo! You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He's been a back and forth contest Man, so far, no doubt about it. Man, some bombs on the mobster, Antonio. Big Antonio needs to uh, adapt overcoming the team before he gets dropped down to his knees. Still swinging with nothing left. This is eighth round of a 12-round bout. Big hook combination up top. You hear that old You're phrase, starting to see. second win. You've got to fight Antonio it somehow. Antonio the Monster's face is turning red from right. taking on a massive blow up top. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Yeah. I have to admit, you know, I agree with Chris Sitting ringside. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The champion is starting to put dominance. What a show. What From a fight. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Both right. sure. fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. So right, not the go. best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. Then step back for just a moment. Okay.
Okay, okay, okay. Here come the monster. He's trying to work it. He's trying to work it, but I do yeah, believe, I don't know if he, if, if he can match the champion's speed at this pace of the fight, but he is trying to hang in there. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed oh as they continue God. to walk through Why? all these power Protect shots. Yourself, sir. What a gift. What yes, a gift. Oh, God, he had a chicken sandwich. sandwich. You know you can he had a bologna sandwich. When he let let him shot go, and he's just bouncing up and now walking it down. Like so he's so like he is so great. He is winning. What else can he do? If he keeps taking those type, type of shots, I believe Big Antonio the Monster will be dead on the canvas. Very competitive round here. Yes, so far. I do agree. He that that first that's in the ring side. He is saying Harvey is making every punch count this round. I have to agree with that. Both of these men showing exceptional chins by the way. That's hot sauce on chicken, baby. out but thought there might be more action here i like the way you know um antonio the monster has been using the thing let your hands go a little bit it's, it's okay to be aggressive now much. this round Allowing can go either Harvey way 10 seconds to go that was a mean exchange from the both fighters though that bell could not have come soon enough for this guy this is the chance. All right, here we go. Oh, and officially, a 388. I wonder how the undisputed boxing ring judge is going to score this fight. Unofficially, um, you know, I did uh, give Antonio the mobs in the first couple of rounds. I gave him the first Don't three rounds. Don't let this fighter fool you. There's some method but to the I man. But I think he's uh, Harvey, shots the champion, the champion is coming at very lightning uh, speed. Lax. Right. He explained to you about the fast fighter. Fast fighters got hand speed and footwork. They relax. They're confident. They know they just have to put their boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way to a fight. Ooh, that was a mean power shot. Antonio the Mopsy just gave th this opponent. And I like the head movement team. that he made his opponent miss afterwards. Oh, good work by the monster. Antonio the monster is starting to come alive, ladies and gentlemen. Good one. He is not making it easy for the champion. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym. Mm -hmm. They've seen the dead, the weak. Massive what you've got to do top. is you've got to frustrate them. As they set their shots, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't walk. Oh, judges oh I'm surprised he didn't go no down from that combination. Fight. What a 10. Man, Harvey like landed some massive blows on Antonio at the end of that round. I am surprised Antonio did not go down. Give There's credit. What a left. heart. Well, what a 10. Antonio is still here, and he's still trying to win. I like the jab, cut back straight. All right, they mixing it up. He, 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 you hear people talking about the boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions you out. that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. Uh, and Tony Hill, the mobster, is like, no, you don't have to take me all the way. So I can feel it. And that's exactly what Harvey is trying to do. He is trying to end the mobster's night tonight. This is the dangerous part. 
Those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Oh my goodness, that two punch step back straight combination has been the answer and key to here victory from for the champion this evening. Understand me? I mean, he is filling him up with the menu. Eggs and bacon, a little home right, fries. Jack, you know what I'm saying? He got the ham on the side. He is giving it to Antonio the Monster. And Harvey is just being tremendous Very with his technique and with 10 seconds to go. He is filling him up. Jesus Christ. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. I do believe he was saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. He, he, he took some big to massive throw. blows at the end of the round. Will this is the championship round. Things around. Concern when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just Ooh, their nice power level. Back, they get straight straight tactics. The they champion. know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the combo Look up from. top, another counter, big left hook from the champion. It looks like Antonio the monster eye is very swollen. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a you know, big I, puncher I like this guy see. that can seriously on that, hurt on that right side of his. Nice uppercut. I saw that coming. Step back straight. The time has not shown us is, much defense been at all. very immaculate from the champion tonight. Uh, you know, his range, his distance. Really close to real estate, really right? stay on the outside. You know, don't get me wrong, the footwork from both fighters has been a very elite stage, right? But Hardy, Hardy is just that chin. Alien. How strong is Harvey your chin? Is Do you have different. a glass chin? You know, These are things that can affect the fight. Some, that's that's why. Why. Just He's straight the and take a mind off the chin, take a mind off the tech and everything around that. Work the brother. These tactics sometimes are so much out boxer fight and beat them on points. You know the scorecard is going to be all over the place Angel. in this one. You got the agency ringside. Yes, sir. Say what's up to Pop for me. And that's it. All right, we're going to the judges. Decision win. All right, so that was a very entertaining championship fight. I'm going to give it over to Miss V, Burger Man, and, and we're going to interview Harvey a little bit more. Uh, once he, you know, it looks like he's coming out the dressing room. But uh, Burger Man, Miss V, how, how, how are you seeing that, that fight? Um, I'm gonna say this. Um, it was a good fight, you know. Yeah, it's me, um, Max and Stacey. I'm, I'm me, talk, I'm, yeah, I'm talking, talking to me right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna say it was a good fight, you know. And I did give Mr. Anthony some couple of rounds, but I noticed that he was just moving backwards. He was just fighting backwards, and he just really wasn't taking his time. And he he just kept letting harvey counting him and he just i don't know it's just how he was fighting it just it wasn't a good performance like i uh, expect from him um harvey he uh what i like about harvey he made sure like he made his punches his count his punches counted and not missing a lot like uh mr anthony so my decision will be Harvey won. He's still the champion. Okay. Alfredo? Burger Man? Uh, you know, I like the Ant the Monster, the mobster, right? He's a good fighter. I'm not going to say he's not. Um, 
But unfortunately, there's levels to this. And he has to go back to the drone board. And, and I guess this was probably a real bad style matchup for him. Not to say he's valiant effort, but this is a bad matchup for him. And I gave it, I didn't give him no round. I gave Harvey the whole fight. He didn't do nothing to me, for me, at least for my taste. And um, Harvey's tough to beat. And Harvey has a game plan. You have to have a better, you have to have an A, B, an a plan, a B plan, and a C plan to beat Harvey. Because he has different gears. And if you don't have a different gear, he's going to swamp you. Give you a burger. That's fair assessment. You know, just to, uh, you know, tie in with you guys. Um, Antonio, um, he did everything what it took to get here. He grinded. Um, his skill set, his ranking was, you know, he earned the shot to be the number one mandatory for the FNF championship. Um, you know, he he has beaten a lot of top elite um, opponents within the league. So I do give a round of applause for, you know, Antonio the Mobster for making it this far. Um, I will admit and agree with you and Miss V. Harvey, like I said when I was commentating, he's the alien. He's different. He's that alpha wolf that, you know, it's going to take someone of, of, I don't know, they're going to have to be an alien. They're going to have to be just as tricky and crafty as Harvey to beat Harvey. Uh, will we see that? That's that's what's intriguing. You know, uh, will someone step up to the plate and give Harvey what he's been looking for, what he's been asking for? Um, it's going to be interesting to see, but I did, you know, on, on my scorecards, I, I gave – um, Antonio the first three rounds but after that Harvey pitched a shutout so you know Harvey uh, remains the FNF champion tonight uh, I see Harvey is sitting here at the desk uh, out of the dressing room Harvey you know that was a great um, performance that you put on tonight it seems like the timing and the range uh, played the factor maybe been one of the uh, big keys to victory uh, helping you win this fight tonight you know, uh, if you don't mind me asking you, how would you grade your performance tonight, Harvey? You know, I think I really did good. You know, I think it's a good A. You know, it's not an A-plus yet, but I think it's a good A score. It's not my natural style. I feel that I'm not playing my natural style because you know me. me like, a lot of people know me. I'm a counterpuncher. So, normally, I fight in back foot. But Anthony pushed me to be more aggressive because if you see Anthony really um, He's really good at footwork and defense. So I had to be more aggressive um, I don't know if people like it more if I'm aggressive, but yeah, that's how it looks when the champ Wants to be aggressive and beat someone up Okay, touche. All right. Well, you know, uh, was that the game plan was that the strategy you worked in in throughout the training camp you know was you anticipating for him to hang out on the outside the way he did and utilize his jab uh i will uh, agree with you his defense is sound um tell us you know what was your game plan throughout your training camp and how did you break down his defense actually i don't have any specific game plans because me knowing anthony i don't really know what is going to be his game plan i don't know if he's going to be aggressive or he's going to be defensive so i'm just trying to have a backup plan but my first my first plan is to be more defensive and just outbox and counter but i think that's his plan so you know me i have a backup being a champion needs a backup plan so what i did is be more aggressive try try to hurt him a lot uh I don't really like hurting my opponent, but he forced me to. I really want to go to KO because there's a part that I'm get really getting frustrated because of that good defense of his. So I really want to KO him, but yeah, unfortunately, he's really he got a good defense. Okay, I agree with that. 
Well, listen, champ, congratulations. Uh, I think, you know, everybody agree with you tonight. You put on a, a great performance. Both of you guys did. Uh, everyone give them a round of uh, applause. Um, this has been an, an epic uh, event tonight. Um, you know, I look forward to next week event. You know, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, just to let everyone know, so we have a quite a few new members uh, in the league, and we plan to allow them to make their de debuts and showcase themselves. So um, next week, I know uh, you know tonight was all about the champions, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit and give those guys the opportunity to be on the live event and show you guys what they have to bring to the undisputed boxing league. But until then. Appreciate Before we go, go. Before we go okay. I, I want to say that um, Audrey did a great job tonight. You know, to be at that level, you can't be twenty four seven. You can't think that you can't be two three hours and you're gonna be. With that being said, Trey, I'm Yeah, yeah, we got bad chasing ringside. He's telling his fans that he'll be back. He's going to be back bigger and better than ever. So look look, look for that coming out of Mr. J. You know, I think he took uh, Miss V words to heart. You know, Miss V is a big fan of Mr. J as well. So um, I do believe that he may go over there uh, to her gym and, and get some training in. You know, uh, Miss V uh, Versatility uh, Promotions is doing their thing. They're training their fighters. And, you know, they're getting them ready, so who knows? Uh, Mr. J may, t may go over there to learn a few things from the versatility camp. All right, guys. Uh, we want to thank you guys for coming out, liking and sharing and commenting and participating in the event tonight. Until next week, this is Undisputed. I'm signing out. Great take, guys.